Okay, to show you how to get input into Finale, first thing we're going to do is choose the main over on the main tool palette, and if for some reason that's not there, it's under Window or Command T, hit the main tool palette. And there you'll see the little eighth note that looks like it's flying in. That's our speedy entry tool. That's the uh, input method of choice. So I'm going to select that, and it goes to the first measure. And when I play my MIDI keyboard, even though you can't see me, might be able to hear it. I'm playing. Nothing's happening. So what I have to do to get sound is go to MIDI Audio tab and come down to Device Setup over to MIDI Internal Speaker Setup. And under that, under the input device, we're going to choose the keyboard that you're using. Um, it should just be whatever the name of your keyboard is. So Keystation Port 1. Okay. So now, there's my C major triad. So I'm going to come here, hold down the C major triad, and I'm going to press a 5, which should make the uh, a C major triad with the note value of a quarter note. But notice, it's just putting quarter notes wherever my cursor is. I'm moving the cursor up and down with the arrow keys. But it's not working. This is a common mistake and so the way to remedy this is go to the speedy entry tab. Now notice this will only be active when you are in speedy entry mode. See it changes from speedy to simple. So we want to change back to speedy, but under speedy, we'll go use MIDI device for input. Now, and there's our C major triad. If for some reason you come to the window, MIDI audio window, and I go to device setup, like we set up our device, MIDI internal speaker setup, if this thing were grayed out, I'm going to unplug my keyboard, and you're going to see now more italicized than grayed out but when I pick it obviously nothing's gonna happen and actually when I plug in my keyboard again it doesn't automatically see it it takes a little bit of time finally now it recognizes it and it sees it again